So let's talk about what Jerome Powell said. He sets the record straight. So for the last few years, the economy, the markets, everybody has been just running around with free money. That's right. Everybody has been dependent on the Fed to, to give them money. Remember, during the pandemic, we were supposed to crash. The market had what's called circuit breakers. Circuit breakers are when the market crashes so fast, you got to stop all trading. It's called a circuit breaker. We had circuit breakers three days in a row. We had circuit breakers three days in a row. The market was falling at a rapid pace. The Fed came in and they pumped more money in the economy and in the market than we had ever seen in our life. It is said at this moment right now that 47 to 57 percent of the money that's in circulation right now was printed in the last two years. This is crazy. This is crazy. So I want us to understand the severity of this. I want us to understand that this was how they set us up. Because if you don't know how to play the game, you will always be on the losing end. I don't like when people say they playing chess, not checkers. Because if you're in a thinking man in checkers, you're going to lose too. Both of them are games that require strategy. Both of them are games that require your strategy. It's the person who goes in a game with no game plan and no strategy. It is the person that is, a, that is not aware that you're playing the game. It is the person that is playing the game that doesn't realize that the opponent has an intricate strategy to defeat and crush you. That is the person that will consistently lose. That is the person that will consistently lose. And so every time you step up to the plate, every time you step up to the game, and you don't have a strategy, you don't have a playbook, you don't have the necessary tools, you already set yourself up for failure. And the thing about real life is, when you set yourself up for failure, you also put your family in failure. Because failure falls two generations at ease. I want you to take a look at where you are right now. I want you to take a look at the generations that came before you. And I want you to ask yourself this simple question. How far are you economically from them? How far are you economically from your mother? How far are you economically from your grandmother? How far economically meaning how much progress have you made from them? Now here's what I want you to understand when you do that. Understand that their dollar actually had a little bit more power than yours right now. Understand that. Understand that. So in a market where money has been free, it's kind of like the markets have been thinking that Jerome was bluffing. He has been a man that has been under so much pressure. He has been a man... That has been, the markets have been trying to manipulate him to do what they want him to do. But on this meeting, on this day, he came to second the record straight. He said, the central banks will use our tools forcefully to attack inflation. Forcefully. He said, inflation is running at a all-time 40-year high. He said interest rates will be persistent for some time to come. What does that mean, Trap? Explain that to me. That means he's going to do what's called quantitative tightening. So quantitative easing is when they pump money in the market. Quantitative tightening is when they slow it down. And then as they slow that down, they increase interest rates. When he said that, 
Everybody got their mind right. We saw the Nasdaq tumble 2% in a day, 4% in two days. We saw the Dow Jones tumble 1,000 points in one day. We saw the S&P lose all gains for the month of August. He said the goal is to get inflation down to 2%. I want you to understand that inflation is normally, even when I'm evaluating a business, when I'm evaluating a business, right? When I'm evaluating a business, I've evaluated at a 2% a to 2.5% interest rate because it's somewhere always between 2 and 3, so I'll go in the middle. Yo, we, we had 8, 9. This is, this is absurd. To get that down to 2%, we're talking about another 18 months to two years. We're talking 2024 when this thing going to get right. We're talking 2024. And that's being easy. We're talking about increasing rates. That means housing rates increased. Interest rates on houses increase. Interest rates on credit cards increase. That's talking about interest rates on student loans in, in, increase. Joe Biden gave a $10,000 student loan forgiveness. Okay. What does that do? Price stability is the responsibility of the Federal Reserve. Price stability. The economy does not flow without consumer spending. But yet, the banks and the big institutions benefit the most when money is cheap. In order to be wealthy, you got to play the game like the wealthy. In order to be wealthy, you got to play the game like the wealthy. In order to be wealthy, you got to play the game like the wealthy. One of the things the wealthy do is they borrow money when it's dirt cheap. It's a golden rule. You borrow money when it's cheap, you buy assets with the cheap money, and you let the assets pay off the cheap interest. But here's what happens. As interest rates go up, companies stop borrowing money because it's not in their best interest to borrow money as, it, as interest rate, as it gets more expensive to pay it back. So what happens? Banks stop. They increase the price to borrow money. And then that becomes an entire free fall. The Federal Reserve has another meeting in September. And we're expecting three quarters of a percent rate hike. So if we look back to the like 1970s. That's right, y'all. Like, I've been doing homework because I want us to understand. I want you to listen to this, and then I want you to go back and say, dang, trapped in this homework, so now I know what to go look at. 